Okay, in this video we're going to make a simple program that you will let you enter in two different numbers and then you can click either the button, any of the buttons, addition, subtraction, multiplication and division and then a message box will pop up with the correct result. Obviously then we can take that and modify it so we can display a bit more information. So, you need to set this up. So we've got a label, two text boxes, First text box has been named, named text t underscore number one, and the second text box has been labeled text t underscore number two. Buttons, button addition, button subtract, button multiply, button divide. No, no spaces in any of those. Now, whatever you call your objects, your variables, is up to you. You just need to remember what they are so that you can make sure you're linking back to the correct object. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to work through some of the code for the subtraction first, and then we'll do addition, and we're going to probably encounter some problems with this, and we're going to look at why those are. So that's why we're going to start with subtraction. So I'm going to double click on that to add the subroutine. So I've got button underscore subtract underscore click in sub so they've got that subroutine and now what we're just going to do is get that information and store it so i'm going to do dim number one is i'm going to store it as a double which is sort of a floating point number or something that's got decimals and we'll do dim number two and it's doubled as well Now, what we're going to need to do is get the information that has been stored in those text boxes. So, we're going to write the location that we want to store it is assigned to, and then we put the location where the information currently is. So, we're going to go txt underscore number one dot text. We'll get whatever's written in that box and save it into that variable. I'm just going to copy and paste this, modify the code so that it points to number two. Now I'm going to need an answer. I haven't declared that variable yet, so I'm going to go up to the top, create the answer, then an answer as well. It's always a good idea to keep weird variables, declare them all at the top of the function section makes them easier to find later on. Answer is assigned to number one minus number two. Then we're going to create a message box. So we can just do msg box open bracket and what we'll do is do number one and minus Number two, oh, I've got an and here. So I'm making sort of a big long piece of piece of text that I'm going to display. And the answer. So what we should get is whether this is number one, minus sign in between it, then number two, and the equal sign, and then the answer. So I've put, put five. In the first text box, and then a 3, so you get 5 minus 3 equals 2. So let's run this and see what happens. Oh, got some errors, so let's see what we have. So what errors did I get? We are missing an ampersand to join those together. So errors are quite common. It's really useful to go through the build area to find out what we're looking for. So let's try that one example I gave. 5 and 3. Click on the minus. And it is giving me what's called a cast exception because it can't, the computer by default doesn't know how to turn number, this double, 
into a string. So I need to basically go and format that and handle that conversion. So in order to do this, we need to use a built-in function, which is part of the convert class. So I'm going to type in convert and do dot, which means do something, and we've got all what it knows how to do. 2n32, I want to convert it to a string, and then I put a set of brackets with what I want to convert. Now, I'm going to copy this, use it over and over. So this is actually reusing a chunk of code behind the scenes. Those pre being pre-written that the computer has already written, it's all been written by somebody else. That basically knows how to convert a number to a piece of st a string, piece of text that we can use. Now, if I run this, what we should now get is if I do five minus three, I get two, which is really good. If I do two minus three. I get my negative one. So that's now working absolutely perfectly. Now, what we can do is we can reuse a big chunk of this code over and over. So I'm just going to do the addition. I'm just going to go up to this set of code, copy everything I've got there, paste it in. Yeah, all well, those variables can stay the same. This time I want to use addition. Work out the answer. I just want to just change the message that's going to be displayed. Run this, and now if we do five and three, open plus button, this is eight, minus, this is two, multiplication and division, which are the little asterisks, and the slash. Basically, don't work at this stage because we haven't got those bits of code. I'm not going to show you how to do the code for the multiplication and division, because as you've seen, you just need to copy it and then change the operator that you're going to apply. So have a go at doing that, and thanks for watching and listening.